splashes of blood, you said. I heard you whispering to the orderly, telling him about your day off in the countryside. Splashes of blood. <coughs> My sister would have cried. But you, so brave, you, you sighed and picked up your tray and walked back to that dying fella, holding his hand to the end, your face calm and sweet like nothing. How do you do it, eh? Myself, I can't stand the smell of me. The colonel, he runs in and then he's out as fast as he can. The padre is kind, but, well, sometimes he t turns his face away. Well, you, you've been cleaning out my, my eyes and my nose and you've been Rinse in my mouth. <clears throat> you move my pillow. And you lift the sheet as gentle as possible. And you never flinch at the pus. You look right at me, and the, the kindness I see in your eyes reminds me of home. You told the orderly there's a poem about them in the newspaper telling how they grow everywhere and how they're the first to come after the dead. You couldn't stand the sight of them. Splashes of blood. Sister, you have got it all wrong. See, for me, this, this little thing so gay and so hardy, standing brightly in the face of death. Well, nurse and sister, for me, this little speck dancing in the fields, it, it speaks of you. <laughs>